سكوت وكل شيء قريب ونمشيو عند هذا ونزوروا مريض ونشوفوا هاد المساله جوني بزاف وقت المغرب حسن اللي كنت كنتصور دابا وليت مغربيه كي كيقولوا لي صحاباتي ولكن شي مسائل في الاول ما ما عجبونيش مثلا واحد النهار اردوا علينا وقالوا لنا اجيو واحد الصدقه كانوا الناس لابسين مزيان والذهب ديالهم تقاشتهم والحواله مشويين والدجاج وبقيت كنشوف كنقول لهم فين هما المساكين اللي ياكلوا صدقه <تصفيق> قالوا لي لا صدقه ماشي المساكين هي سميه صدقه ولكن كتصدق على اغنياء المهم هاد صدقه اللي ما فهمتهاش <تصفيق> الوالده ديالي كانت من دابا ولات كتبدل الفكره هي اللي قاصحه شويه في كل شيء ما كتبغيش حتى اللي كنبغي نهضر معها في الدين ما كتبغيش حتى هاد العام منين جات ست اشهر ما عمرها حلت الباب هاد العام حلت الباب وليت كنناقش معها شويه بشويه ولات كتقول الحمد لله اذا حسيت بان كاينه شي حاجه فوق منا ما نطلب الله ما انت تهدي من احببت ولكن الله يهدي من يشاء واحد واحد جوج So I think, uh, you know, spending the time at home, eight years, uh, I put my mind to being at home, I put my mind to learning about Islam and having children and spending time with my husband. And I think it was important to, to make those bonds in the family. Uh, and after the kids, you know, the youngest one was about f three or four, I felt, you know, that I've, I've made this bond uh, at home and I feel strong in myself and I feel strong in my religion. And, you know, maybe it would be nice to, ha to go out and work and have a bit of recognition from outside that, you know, that I was doing something to help, you know, outside the family at this point. لمحارب من أعظم القادة العسكريين على مر العصور هزم روما وأصبح عدوها الأول حنا بعل عدو روما في هذه الأوقات على الجزيرة الوثائقية في دنيا العمارة اسم لا ينسى سنان معماري الإمبراطورية العثمانية كثرت أعماله فصح القول في باني تركية المعماري الأكبر سنان في هذه الأوقات حصريا على الجزيرة الوثائقية I think uh, my life has been so many changes, especially now that my husband has had to go back to England to work and I'm staying in Morocco with the kids and uh, You know, we decided as a couple that this was better for the children here in Morocco. You know, we wanted them to learn Arabic and they've, they've learned the school here and they've got used to it. And um, we've decided to do that.
I know that he went because he feels such a responsibility to help financially with the family that he he just couldn't sit here in Morocco and let me work, you know. Even if I could go and do extra hours and I could work in the school and he could help with the kids, you know, maybe that's... In, in the West, we do that now, you know. The husband stays at home and the wife goes out to work, no problem. A lot of people see it as him running away from his responsibility. But I think f- because uh, we have a really good understanding now, you know, uh, I know that he his heart is with his family and it will always be with his family. I think I've given up on uh, knowing what to expect tomorrow or, you know, the next hour or the next year or anything. I mean, whatever Allah gives us is, uh, you know, that's the way we're going to go and you just have to, you just have to go with it, you know. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Astaghfirullah. What would you say? Astaghfirullah. And then what? And then what? Oh, then Certainly my husband and I aspire to educate our children in the right way. Um, I always have concerns myself that I don't have the right answers. But in that case, I send the kids to their father. <laughs> He's much better educated in the faith, having been brought up with the traditions and brought up, you know, uh, having heard stories and so forth from a very young age. And sometimes, you know, I would say all of the time that's that's very beneficial to the kids and, and to me as well. معتنقة للديانة المسيحية فقبل الزواج اتفقنا على بعض الشروط ليكون زواجنا زواج دائم فمن بين الشروط التي ذكرناها هو تربية الأولاد يجب أن يتربوا تربية إسلامية فقط يعني أنه بعد الزواج المختلط بعض الأطراف يحبدون فكرة تبيين أو تبريز ديانتين أو ثلاث للأولاد وترك الاختيار للأولاد فكنت صارما شيئا ما قبل الزواج قلت لها بأنه إن تزوجنا إن شاء الله الأولاد يجب أن تكون عندهم تربية إسلامية فقط I mean, of course, I want my children to learn how to be good Muslims, how to be good people. And I think that that comes primarily from the home. But I think that every day in our house, there are lessons that we need to be giving the kids about um, how to treat other people, about manners, about, you know, what to say, when to say it, what's appropriate behavior. And I think, I mean, that happens in every home, and we can only hope that, you know, the children follow um, you know, follow our good examples. And we hope that we're able to give them good examples as well. We have to give people money. If people don't have that much money, we have to give them a little bit of money. Do you remember what that's called in Arabic? Uh, zakat. Bravo. Good job, Mohammed. من النهار اللي درت انا حجاب كنت عارفه ان شاء الله الا سهل الله بناتي حتى هما يديروا حجاب من صغرهم كنت كنوليفهم كنت عارفه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم والصلاه على الصلاه نولف ولادنا من سبع سنين وكيف درت بالي اذا الحاجه الثانيه اللي غيولفوها هي الحجاب حاجه طبيعيه الا درتيهم من صغرهم كنت كان مثلا من كيقربوا 10 سنين في رمضان كيلبسوه مره 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 يحفظوا شويه القران ديرنا محفله مثلا يصليو مزيان شي سيمانه